depending on how well this dog eats her food this morning will determine exactly what I'm going to do with her. If she starts eating, then we're going to move forward with the rehabilitation. So let's see what happens. She's not eating. Not that curious. So far. But she ate she ate good yesterday. But took her a minute. So let's see what happens. Maybe we'll have to put some dogs next to her that they're gonna be eating ferociously, such as this guy here. That dog for two years have never been placed with other dogs before, other than the pack that she grew up with. Of course now this is a lot more dogs, so we're going to be putting a lot more pressure on her. And my, my point here is to uh, pressure her to the point where she becomes balanced. Or she fears, she sees that there's nothing to fear but fear itself. So let's let these guys in. Come on, ball. Turtle. I'm telling her what I don't like. Hey, I don't like that. If I listen to her growl, she makes a growl. She's saying stay away. I know this is out of fear, but I'm controlling that hormone. I'm suppressing it. You see her shaking? See the body shaking? That's the reactivity of her nervous system. She's got to go through that. She has to go through that in order to balance herself. As long as I make sure that nothing happens to her, then the effects of this is not la long lasting. She won't see this as something that she has to get over, something that happened to her. It's going to take her back into the darkness. She will begin to balance out because I'm protecting her. I'm protecting her and I'm protecting the other dogs. And the fact that they see that I'm doing this, these guys here, they know that I'm in control, so that makes them feel balanced. Look at these guys. They're keeping their distance. They see what's happening here. As you can see, they see what's going on. And they're kind of staying away, but the key here is that they feel safe with me. Now, you see this guy comes near me? because I'm looking and talking to him. He knows I'm talking about him. Then he goes away to keep that special place safe, special place. And this girl here can accept it. This is perfect. I'm working very fast with this dog because I want to bring her quickly into my pack. The reason why she has this muzzle on is because her level of aggression in the beginning was so severe that, and I worked actually too quick with her, and I knew that that's what I was doing. I didn't give her a chance to, to be with the pack, to be in the proximity of the pack, and to stabilize her nervous system on her own. I did move quickly, but I, I wanted to see what she would do. And so because she reacted so violently, the first time, now we're taking her at a pace where I would have normally taken her. And so that's why I have the muzzle on. If we had started this the right way, then the muzzle could have been taken off right away, within the first hour. So, here we go. Come on, guys. Hey, let's go.
Look at this guy, so much energy. He can't stand to be separated from the action. Huh? He is a party animal. Look at this guy. <laughs> All he wants to do is be where the action is. Look at this guy. That's all he wants. Look at this. Come on. Come on. Come on, listen. Last time, she went after this guy, viciously. This time, the introduction is a lot different. The first time, it was out of stress. The fact that she had not seen another dog, or she's seen, but not been able to be near another dog. But this introduction today is more about this guy than her, because he has to get past it. This is the mistake that most people don't get a chance to rectify. We've got to control how the dog that was attacked feels so that they don't feel threatened anymore. So I'm going to put them together again. This is a reintroduction to a fight that took place early on with this dog. This reintroduction is more about this guy than her. He has to be able to get past what she did to him. And the only way to do that is to introduce them again under my control where that doesn't happen again. But this female must be under the right hormonal influence. The last time I didn't balance her first. This time it's done. That's what happens when you move too quickly. But it was done purposely. And in this case, my job is to produce the problem that I have the answers to. So I have to create the scenario. And then control it. Beautiful. She's receiving him properly this time. Why is this done properly? It's because the hormone is in the right place. His nervousness actually originally got him in trouble. The reactivity of his nervous system. It's high. And he has some fear. And so, of course, she's going to be emboldened by that. But now, things are as they should be. How wonderful is this? How wonderful is this? Look at that. <laughs> to see the dog who she really is, this is who the owners actually know about the dog. They wish that other people could see it. They wish that other dogs could see this within this dog. They have tried countless of times with the concept of training to fix this dog. Trying to give it everything they thought it needed, but never giving it exactly what it needed because they were trying to give it what they felt the dog wanted. This is what they want. This is what they need. This is what they live for with us now, in this day and age. There are no more working dogs. Their jobs now are to be pets. And we must teach them how to be a pet without waking up the side of them that actually gets them in trouble. This is the time 
when they can be woken up, when the predatory side can be woken up in a dog, is during this time only, when the dog is in perfect control of its hormones. Not when we are producing hormones that are opposite from the way the dog is feeling and then expect for the dog to comply with what we want. No, we must teach them to judge the level of their aggression. Then you can see something beautiful, something wonderful, something communication that's taking place that's pure, purely understood thoroughly understood. Look at this. Look at this dog. The owners have seen this with the dog that it was actually raised with years ago as a puppy, but never since. But this guy that she attacked behind her, taunting her. Look at that, climbing on her, double teaming. When you see this man, it's got to do something to you. When the owner of this dog sees that, it's got to do something to them. Because it does something to me. And I only know the dog from the time that she's come in. I see the beauty. I see the dog behind the mask. Is finally taking her mask off. And this is what you see. This is what you see.